Hello, and welcome to, or welcome back, to some more Planet Crafter. Uh, so, uh, yesterday, uh, towards our, yeah, our last episode, uh, we, uh, the last thing we kind of opened was, uh, this guy right here, the ore extractor, right? Uh, and the, the trick with the ore extractor is, is I need osmium. I haven't found osmium yet. I think I remember where it was, um, but we gotta go get it. So what I want to do is I'm going to grab me another oxygen capsule here. I got plenty of water. I'll put this guy away for now. Oh, and uh, so, and I went back to that, that wreck over there, I think. And I found another space in it, and I found another blue thing. Uh, so, let's see. Let me go. Oh, I got two, two chips. Uh, so, oh, a living corner, living corner, and then... A, a screen? Uh, oh, the mapping screen. Okay, so we need to start launching rock, rockets for the mapping screen. All right, so I'm going to put some of this stuff away, uh, and then we're going to see if we can go find some, uh, some osmium. Uh, and then I did find a couple more seeds in there, eggplants, stuff like that. Uh, and then I also found... Uh, another flower, this guy here, the white flower. So the white flower is 400. Uh, so we got all those things going. So let's see if we can get us some, let's see if we can get us, can we get some green beans yet? Nope, green beans aren't aren't finished growing yet. Uh, let me take a food with me, take an oxygen with me, just in case I need it. Kinda wanna wait for these things to get done but I also want to get going. So we're going to take this guy. We're going to run down here. Doo, 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 doo. More, more space adventures. All right. Still, still finding ice around. So it's not quite disappeared yet. We'll head back over here. I think we may actually start to see water. Uh, as the water table starts to to slowly rise, we uh, obviously we have clouds. We have you know the atmosphere is starting to get a little bit better. Uh, our uh, oxygen is not quite there yet. Like I said, eventually what will happen is uh, we'll get enough oxygen in the atmosphere. Uh, we'll build like a, this filter thing, and it filter it'll filter the atmosphere, uh, and then we'll be able to just get oxygen. And we don't have oxygen. Uh, we'll be able to just run up to the, the water uh, that starts to form and be able to drink and stuff like that. So basically the only thing we'll need is food. But by then we'll, we'll have food that uh, is able to uh, to heal us quite a bit more. You see like it's starting to, you know, we're still seeing dust and stuff coming from there. And it's it's a cool game. I, I, I just, I, I really do like this game. Uh, it's just... The sense of accomplishment when you're doing things, uh, it just feels like, you know, you're, you're actually accomplishing stuff. So it's more aluminum. So I want to head... I don't know if this thing is melted up here yet. I really hope it is, because I kind of need it to be. Uh, it greatly slows me down if it's not melted. Probably could actually go into that thing and uh, uh, it almost melted, it looks like. So we'll go get some oxygen, then we'll go check it out. All right, get some oxygen. There you go. All right, let's go back over and check this, this guy out. See if we can actually get through here. Ah, we can. All right, so here we are. Look at this, osmium. A little bit of sulfur, or osmium, or sulfur. Now, the uh, the two pieces of osmium that I found will be enough to make one miner. So obviously, I want more than one miner. Uh, and this stuff is here. So this one, uh, five. Uh, I don't. I don't remember what the 
that one is, if it's micro or pico or... All right, so we got a couple more pieces of sulfur. I'm just looking to see if there's any more osmium. There's not a piece of iron. Right, so that's cobalt, stuff like that. So now while we're, while we're here already, uh, let's go ahead and check this guy out and make sure we got this one cleared. Because there's no sense in going back empty-handed. All right. Might as well see if we missed anything. Got that one. I like if if I empty a canister out, uh, I like to grab or pick it up. So that way, the next fifteen times I come through here, I'm not trying to figure out and basically checking it to see if it's still got stuff in it. All right, eventually we'll be able to take those things apart, but we uh can't do it yet. We need a T2 deconstruction chip. Same thing with these. So there's a 300. There's a 400. It's a little bit of space food. A little bit of that. We'll oh, definitely want to take the aluminum. Uh, we'll take both of those. We'll get rid of that guy. Get rid of that one. Now this one would probably be a good thing to take apart too. Mostly because it does drop. The aluminum. The aluminum is actually what I want. And if I can grab the iridium also. All right. So we got all that stuff. Let's get out of here for now. Oh, no. I get turned around. Nope. This is not the right way. Oh, there it is. There's the out. So now our water is low. So let's go ahead and drink one of those. I guess I could have drank one of those on the inside. And then we'll go back to the base. So we have two osmium. Uh, and as uh, the our pressure and terraform and heat index and everything gets higher, uh, we'll get more and more of that stuff. And we'll end up having... Uh, more of that cave will open and we'll be able to get more osmium. Now, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back over here. Now, if you haven't built a uh, one of the, the mining arrays, depending on where you build it, depends on the items you get. Uh, so you're always going to get the, the early stuff. Uh, so, you know, iron and... Uh, not aluminum, it'll be iron... Cobalt, silicon, and magnesium. I think you get all those. If you build it inside of there, you'll get the iridium. If you'll bit, if you build it over there, you'll get aluminum. You have to build it inside that area. It probably would be good to try to build one over at the aluminum area fairly soon. Uh, but. I'm going to build our first one up here uh, and get the, uh, the super alloy. Because the problem with the super alloy is it, it's it's so expensive to make. Uh, because you basically need, I think it's, like, you need aluminum and, like, a bunch of, like, pretty much, like, almost one of everything. I don't remember the exact uh, formula for it, but it, it's very expensive. Let me see if I can build. And then I'm going to find out like when I build the tier one when I'm going to have it. Uh, so I need a super alloy and a titanium. So let me put that. So I need a titanium. I don't have a titanium. All right. That looks like maybe a titanium over there. Look at that. 
All right, so now we have that. I guess the smarter thing would do would built been to build this in the Osmium Cave, but so we're gonna go right back into here. I'm gonna do this guy right here. I'm gonna do this guy like. Oh, I need an iridium rod. Do not have the iridium I need. Uh, I'm going to put that one away. That one away. That one away. I'm going to take this guy here out. Put that one back in. Grab my green beans on the way. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. And then we're going to go back and fill up with iridium. So we'll go ahead and eat that bad boy. So now we're getting green beans. We can, we're growing our own food. Uh, it's, I still every once in a while need uh, the space food because uh, I'm not producing enough to, you know, keep it going. Um, so we'll uh, probably get one, maybe two more uh, food things and then we'll kind of be good for food. We have our water kind of being taken care of now so we can survive on the planet. Uh, you know, we have our basic stuff taken care of. We, we're making oxygen. Like we can go in and get that refilled. We can get food. We can get water. Uh, and pretty much any time we need to go back, we're like, oh crap, I need a food real fast. Um, I'll, I, hopefully we'll get to the point where I'll be able to keep like one or two on me and then, uh, you know, still have four, you know, that are, that are growing. So in here, what we're going to try to do is I need to pick up a bunch of iridiums. And as much fun as all this other stuff is, and I would love to grab the ice and everything right now. Uh, iridium is what I need. But the only other thing I would grab is osmium if I saw it in here, which I, I, you won't, uh, or aluminum. Actually, I think, yeah, there is some aluminum. Yeah, there is aluminum. Inventory is full. Um, you know what? Let's do that one. Let's do that one. All right. I want to say there is a, a chest up here too. Yeah, there's a good amount of aluminum in here. This is another... Another thing that should start slowly melting. So the chest right here. We got food. We have a little bit of aluminum. You know what? Uh, I'm going to put that in there. Put the sulfur in there for now. Uh, I haven't found anything that needs sulfur yet. So I'll just remember where I, where I left it. It is just, we, I need way too much aluminum. Oh, my inventory is full again. So, and that's the thing is like, uh, depending on what you need, you know, when you need aluminum, you need, you need lots of aluminum. When you need, you know, you're like, oh, I need iridium. And then I need nine iridium to make one rod. Uh, so it, uh, it, it gets, stuff starts getting very expensive very quickly. And you basically want to build um, the uh, the buildings to be able to get stuff going. And eventually what I'll do is, there's so much stuff that comes in the future uh, with bots and things like that. So uh, I can actually set it up so that 
uh, like when I go to clear out a building, uh, I can have the bots come and grab stuff out of things. So I can set up a couple of, uh, I set up one of those things, put a little um, a storage box in it, and just have the bots come empty everything out of it. Uh, and then that way, and, and they'll bring it all back to the base for me. It'll be, it'll be great. It'll be glorious. All right, so let's go do this. Let's build us one of those. Uh, yeah, so and a super alloy is a cobalt, an iron, a magnesium, a silicon, a titanium, and an aluminum to make one, one uh, super alloy. So super alloys are very, very expensive. Hence the reason I set up down here. There's all the other stuff I can get kind of, you know, on their own. But if I'm having to spend so much money on trying to, to get one of them, right? Oh, good. We, we broke our power again. Um, let's see. Can I even look at this thing? All right. So it's not going to tell me what it's doing yet. All right. So... Now we do have that. So now let me look and see two cobalt, iron, magnesium, and a silicon. Two cobalt. Uh, so I got four there. You know what? Okay, I'll play your silly game game. All right, so let's do that. Let's do that. All right, so now I got that. So I need another water and three super alloys. Uh, let's see. Water is easy. The super alloys are the part that's going to be a problem. If not, I know where I can go grab a couple of their... Just, I don't know if they... I don't think they respawn. Um, but I know a place where super alloy does grow. All right. Looks like we're going on another adventure. I like adventures. All right. So. Go in here. Do... So I have a food, I have our two foods. Let me get a couple of waters. Um, I should probably grab a couple of waters uh, and I should grab maybe a couple of oxygens. Uh, no, we'll be okay. I am going to I don't need this this box here any longer. It doesn't really serve a purpose because I, I can get over that. Um, go do that. And then we're going to run up here. We're going to make a, another, another pit stop at that uh port and then we're going to go into that guy Do -do -do. Oh, but yeah so the, the trick is is trying to learn where stuff is and luckily it's it's been a while since i played but and it's been close enough that i remember you know what was up there and uh we're actually going into that area there um i do not recommend going into that area without a, a jet pack uh because it is it is uh it is a bit, it's a bit high. What we're going to do is we're going to go, uh, I wonder if I can get around. Get up there this way. Yeah, that was a problem is that uh, trying to get in and out of this place is uh, difficult. So, lots of stuff in here. And it's a big, massive cave. Or not a maze. It's not really a cave. Um, and we're, we're heading over to that area right there. Uh, I think I can get up over here someplace. 
Yeah, yeah, I know. We're still low power. It'll, it'll be fine. All right. So, yeah, we can get up right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go build me my, my guy right here. Build us a little door on it. That way. Look at that. Now we got oxygen again. And there's a little super alloy there for us. Then do a little bit of deconstructing. A uh, little bit of aluminum. Take that. We'll take the food too. All right. So we got lots and lots of stuff in here. Uh, Take the C, take that, take that. Uh, the green bean we'll leave for now. Um, so we'll take all this stuff out here. Kind of look around. Uh, there's two iridium rods. We're definitely taking those. Space food, another there. That's another 300. Uh, uranium, kind of want that. Uh, let's see. Take that uranium also. Um, space food, more uranium. We'll leave the Lerma. We can come back for that. We can come back for the cloth also. Uh, and then here, we got another blue chip. More, more of those, more 300s. So probably my best thing to do here, not that one. Where did I just take all my, my, there it is. Uh, let's see, let me put these guys like this. Do this. Take, go out here to our little box. So it's, it's kind of trying to set stuff up here. So that we can do this. Uh, where are you? There you are. So I'm going to just take a bunch of food in here. Uh, we're going to stick the food in there. We'll stick like this stuff here. Like the plants, like I don't really super need the plants right now. Um, uh, but. It's enough to know I probably should just empty a bunch of the stuff out of here. Uh, we'll, we'll just put all this stuff in here for now. Um, and then we can go in here and we can just grab a bunch more stuff. So we do need to drink us some water. Right. And then we can go back in here so that guy can stay. Now, what I want to do is I want to take all my super alloys. I want to take all the, the good, high, profitable stuff out of here. Uh, like this stuff is all good. Definitely take that guy with us. We can run around. Now, if we run out of here, we can get another super alloy. Get another super alloy. You can kind of run around on top of this guy right here. And what we're doing is we're trying to figure out where all the fun stuff is, because there's super alloys just kind of hidden all over the place up here. And then, oh, I didn't make it. Nope. Uh, and that is why you want to have your, um, you want to have it where you can uh, fly, uh, because if you don't, uh, you fall down and it hurts a lot. And if you don't have food on you, uh, it, it will end badly. So then we can try to get out of here. And then, oh, Jesus, we got so much good stuff. Um, you know what? I'm going to leave the cloth. Leave the cloth. Um, we're going to take the aluminum and leave those two seeds. We're going to take that stuff. 
Uh, eventually, one day, I'll find that. I'll be all happy because I have a bunch of cloth. All right, so, yep, and then you see we're starting to get uh, puddles of water. So water's starting to form. So, and, and that's the thing is that as you build, as you play the game, and that's kind of why I call it in, an incremental, uh, because as you're playing it, you slowly get further and further along. You get, the game gets easier. Uh, you get, and it's not that it's, it just allows you to, to go further and further from your base. Uh, so, and that's really the ultimate goal is to be able to get, be able to explore further, be able to get, you know, kind of like the Subnautica where, you know, you know, oh, I got another thing so I can go down deeper. Um, you know, I've got more oxygen so I can, you know, I can stay out of the boat longer. It's the same thing here. It's me going down further and me getting, you know, further away from things and still low power. it will be all right. Get up here, uh, figure out what I need to be able to make some power. Uh, so I don't know if I have enough uranium. Uh, I have enough to make one probably. Uh, so we'll put all these guys away. All right, so let me do that. Let me grab this guy out. And then I need to hit this guy. Uh, all right, so we have everything we need. So we'll go out here. We'll just put us down another, another reactor right next to it. Boop. Look at that. Now we have two reactors. All right, so that stuff is all good. So now, once we go in here and look at this guy, it should show us that it's running. So it's it's basically it's basically looking for iron. Um, I I think it can kind of get anything though. That just me maybe what it pops out next. So we'll just let that run for a little bit, and then eventually we'll start having uh, items pop out of it. Uh, all right, so we're all doing good there. So we have bunches of aluminum. So the uh, biomass is slowly starting to come up. Uh, probably not nearly, none of these numbers are nearly moving fast enough for what I want anymore. Uh, like even the oxygen starting to slow down because uh, it's hit, hit a point where it's just, it's starting to slow down. Um, and then these are all pink flowers. Like if I really wanted to, I could go out here and can, I may do that. Uh, the problem is, is it's it's my power. Uh, I, I've got to I've got to watch my power because uh, I'm using uh, I got 70, 70 uh, kilowatts left. Um, so the uh, it's just slowly, slowly getting stuff, and then I, I want to see. Now the trick with this guy is yeah, so it's saying it's producing iron, but it's it's kind of just randomly grabbing whatever it wants uh now the other issue with that thing is too is as you pull stuff or as it gets full you want to pull things out of there because if that thing gets full like everything else it stops um oh let's go do those so uh the t1 gps and then uh oh a big living apartment all right so we got we're starting to get, you know, into it, trying to get, you know, a little bit more stuff that we can build. Uh, we have some more super alloy. We have some more flowers. All right. So those are all put away. Those are growing. What else do we need to build? Uh, we could probably build another heater. So we did pick up another iridium rod, I think. Or no, I used the iridium rod in that thing. Um, all right, so that is good. I still don't have the beacons. I don't have two ti three titanium, three. Do I have three titanium? I do not. Can I find three titanium? We're going to find out. So we'll get that built so we can start looking at uh, what we need for the rockets another that's an iron i'll take it though there's a titanium there's another titanium uh there's another one right there 
Easy enough. Give me that. All right. So now we have all three of those. And this is probably going to kill our power again. <laughs> Seems to be a common, uh, common occurrence here. Now, the other thing we're going to need to is to figure out where to put this thing at. Because it is uh, not small. We'll place it right there. Oh, we didn't kill our power, so that's good. So we can run up here. Do that. And this uh, allows us to an asteroid attraction rocket, right? So basically it costs us two super alloys, three cobalt, and a rocket engine. Uh, this is a... Uh, attracts iridium asteroids, right? So we can attract uh, uranium asteroids. We can attract uh, iridium asteroids. Uh, and then so, like, this isn't necessarily a, a bad thing to do, especially because the uh, uranium is very far away. And then this is uh, the one that allows us to start putting satellites up and start getting and figure out what the hell's going on with stuff. All right, so that is good. We're down from there. So uh, next next one maybe we'll uh we'll start doing that. I kind of want to see. I'm hoping this thing will start pulling. It does. I'm hoping it does pull some super al alloys out. I'm gonna be really sad if it doesn't. Uh, if not though, we'll we'll get to the. Uh, <clears throat> we'll get to the tier two and tier three stuff here fairly soon. Do that. Let's go ahead and drink some water. Let's eat some green beans. Do, 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 do. So much easier when, when you have all the food and everything you need. Uh, so next stage is lakes. Uh, so we're so we have liquid water. Uh, the next stage is lakes. Uh, heat, pressure, right? Everything's still moving. Our oxygen's kind of slowed down. Um, let's see. What else is uh, backpack is the terraform index. Uh, next oxygen is another heater for us. Um, sign algae biome drill, drill four. So we kind of need, and then the or the pressure. So we we probably want more pressure. Uh, we we yeah we want more pressure. Um, so. What do we need for more drills? Titanium and aluminum. Let me go out and see if I can find some titanium. Because if I can get... Actually, what, what's in here? Uh, so this is two titanium, one iron. So I basically need to add an iron and, and two aluminum to each one of those. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so we do that like that. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go out here. I'm going to pull that guy up, pull that guy up, pull that guy up. Then I'm going to place that guy right there. Place him there. Oh, good. It resets it every time. Put that guy like that. All right. So that should have gotten our pressure moving. Probably should have looked to see what my number was before. I don't remember it. Obviously, I showed it on screen. Uh, pressure seems to be moving a little faster now. <laughs> All right. So let's see if I have... Should have enough to make another one. And then, like I said, it's not a big deal because if even if you uh, you're like, oh, I need these resources later, I can come take them out. Like it, I can pull them out and uh, just put them back. You know, so it don't don't worry about you know, oh, I might need these for other things. Like just put it down. Like there's no reason to. If, if you need something to not have it uh, basically uh, being used. Um, so like all the iron I have in here, 
Like I could pull all, uh, I don't have any iron in there. Uh, all this iron, like I could pull it out and just stick it into, uh, the, the, um, like panels or something just to, to keep it using. So I need, how many, how many aluminums do I have left? Uh, one, two, you do that one. Let's do that one. I can make at least another one of these. I can make another solar panel. Get another solar panel going. So that way we have more power. Always need more power. Always, always, always. So these guys, I don't think. What do I need for those? Silicon, magnesium. So I need two silicons. Uh, I don't have any silicon. So if I get. So I need four, six silicon and two magnesium. So like I said, it's all whack-a-mole. It's all uh, trying to keep things moving, keep things going as fast as we can. Uh, you know, figure out what's not moving uh, and then getting it to move uh so we need a bunch of silicon i need just a couple i need one more magnesium i need three more silicon so i need a couple more silicons and we'll be able to put down <coughs> a handful of more flowers or more oxygen uh items and it's you know it's figure out what you have and what's good use now once you have the higher end flowers it, it may not be worth uh spending the time to uh uh like i i don't know if i would put all the effort into to putting the the lerma seeds down uh but once you start having like like you know 300 400 uh time seeds like those are, those help. Uh, that's a massive use of your time. And especially like even with your trees, like when you first start, the trees do the same thing. So yeah, it's nice to have uh, the beginning seeds out, uh, but ultimately you want to have uh, the, the higher end ones because they, they, they're just, it's more, more use, right? Do this guy. That one. Oh, I need more water bottles. Luckily, I know a guy. All right, so we'll go ahead and place this guy down here. I need one more aluminum, and I can make another one. And I'm out completely out of aluminum. So... Uh, but now I can go in here, and these guys are all 300s, so I'll just grab three of those. And then I think I have another uh, of the white ones over there. So, like, just taking the resources I already have that are just kind of in here. So my oxygen's at 974 right now. Put those in. This is all stuff we had just laying around. I had to go get a couple of small resources. And now I'm, you know, it's an extra 100, 100 a, uh, a second. Which, you know, still is not causing it to move really quickly. Uh, but it's still, it's still working, right? And that's really the trick is to keep it constantly working. So uh, with that, and as always, uh, we're going to continue building and doing what we can. Uh, hopefully you guys are having a good time and enjoy it. If you do like the videos, you want to see more of them, please consider throwing a like on it. Uh, if you uh, have a question, a comment, or concern, please leave that down below. Oh, this is not giving me super alloys. I'm not liking it. Um, and then uh, if you are uh, not subscribed to the channel and you would like to be, uh, that button down there is for you. And then uh, you'll be notified of when new stuff comes out. So with that, you guys be safe. Uh, we'll catch you all next time. Y'all have a good day. Bye.